Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today, we've got another beautiful build for you. Today, we're building in the Fractal North. Today, we've got the white version. You've seen the black version here quite a bit here on the channel. Maybe travel pop up some of those videos right here that we've built with the black Fractal North, but today, we're building a white one. Keep that beautiful white out aesthetic. We're adding an LT520 cooler on top of the Z790 Prime A board for coming in from Asus. We've got white team group RAM. We've got beautiful white Be Quiet Light Wings fans going in here as well. And we've got to top it all off, we've got a beautiful RTX 4080 Gigabyte Arrow white out as well. Absolutely killer system, 13600K, 4080, 6800 megahertz of RAM on the beautiful white Z790 board. Absolutely killer system. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button so people see the PCs that we build here over on YouTube and help with that algorithm. If you want to catch us live, unedited, raw like it is right now, you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints at 10 a.m. Eastern. We hope to see you soon. Uh, Miss the belt, is this your order? Uh, potentially? Yes, indeed, this is yours. Yep, this is your build. We also, we also saw, I don't, I don't know if you saw, we got you some upgrades, by the way. Uh, we just, uh, we upgraded your card to a white card, too. All right, guys, we got all the parts aside here. Let's get started on the build. Get this beautiful uh, Prime A out. Yeah, I, I hadn't built in the white north, but I was looking at this one, um, and I was like, this would be a good one for stream, you know? So let's go top down, let's get started. Look at that board, beautiful white Prime A board from Asus. Make sure all of our cellophane off the top here is one. All right, let's pop this up. Take a look at the socket. Looks great, no bend pins, love to see it. And we go with a 13600K, fantastic CPU. Any kind of games, Warzone, Tarkov, FPS games, FPS titles. Bang for buck, it's a fantastic CPU. There we go. Next is gonna be our NVMe drive. We have two drives today. We have a one terabyte primary, which is gonna go down here in primary socket A. All right, KC3000 drive, one terabyte primer going in. There we go. Latch it down, take off our thermal pad for the back here. Help with the temps, those drives get pretty toasty, especially when you're reading and writing up to speed up to 7,000 megabytes a second. Seven gigs a second speeds is pretty fast, chat. That's the read and access speed. Usually most of the times they're, they're not reading, writing that fast, but man, they are they are fast. All right, there we go, first drive's in. Take our second, we're all the way down here to the bottom. Down we go to our secondary drive, a two terabyte KC3000 drive. Down and in. Three terabytes of NVMe storage, not just any storage, KC3000 are fantastic drives. Back in here, let's get our standoff in place. Our 1700 standoffs are down and on. Just to get a spacer between the pump head and the CPU itself. Standoffs are in place, it's work on our RAM now. Team group, Delta 6600 C34. Might even time it down to 6400 C32 to get better, tighter timings. You can do that with this RAM, it looks good. It's a great RAM to do it with. Beautiful white RAM from Delta and the team Delta RGB. Beautiful RAM, down and in with stick one. First dim, down and in. Second dim going down and in. There we go, all latched in. All right, let's talk about our board again real quick before we get our case out, Chad. That's gonna be the next thing that you guys wanna see, that beautiful, beautiful Fractal North White. All right, Z790 Prime A board coming in from M uh, Asus today. Sorry, I'm so used to saying MSI, because we use a lot of MSI boards, but this Asus board is beautiful. This is the Z790A Prime. We have a 13600K down on the socket with our standoffs for the LT520 cooler coming in today from Deep Cool. A one terabyte drive, KC3000 being the primary drive here in our slot one. And down here on the bottom in our socket number three, we have a beautiful two terabyte KC3000 drive as well. Again, 6800 megahertz of DDR5 and 32 gigs coming from team group as well. Let's slide this aside. And let's get this beautiful motherboard, or sorry, beautiful case out. Oh, this case is gorgeous. I, like I do like the Fractal North and White. I think it's an absolutely stunning case. Beautiful white with leather accent they have on the top panel. Love it. Beautiful glass panel today, not the mesh. We've had the mesh before, the glass panel. We're gonna go top down, get ready to mount this motherboard chat. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful case from Fractal. I love the, I wish they make a case in this color here. It's almost like a, a gray brown, a gray bronze color right here for the inside of the case. I, I wish they make a case that looks this color. I love the color. But down here we go with the beautiful Z790 motherboard. We get our screws out so you get this mounted. All in that case, we're gonna go top side with it. There we go, looking beautiful. Throwing our front panel connections next. Type C and our USB 3.0 going in first. So you can see all the cables in the back are already run. So we have to work on the power supply next chat, which can be a thousand watt PCIe 5 today. Power supply, thousand watts, plenty of power today. All right, so cables we'll need today. Don't need PCIe. We'll need this CPU right here. Yep, CPU one, 24 pin main, CPU two, full volt high power. 
I don't believe we'll need SATA today. We don't need SATA, so the SATA cables are gonna go in the bag as well, along with our regular uh, AC power. Here we go. All right. All our cables down and in. Let's feed them through here. CP cable is going up and in. This is a fun one catch chat, because the this is the one thing I don't like about this case, is this little tight right here for running cables. So that's the fun part. All the cable management. There we go. EPS cables are up and in. There we go, all done there with the cables. Give our GPU cable down below for now. All right, let's get our rear fan in chat. Let's work on our fans. We have fans, our AIO, and then our GPU to go. Beautiful white fans. I, I absolutely love the light white, light wings, white fans. They are absolutely stunning. There they are, chat. Look at those gorgeous fans. Let's get our rear fan in. All right, fans in. All right. Start working on the AIO. Have beautiful, look at those beautiful white fans on that pump. All right, we're gonna spin this around, chat. We're getting ready to mount the pump. We're gonna mount this pump. Okay. Let's pump finger tights. All right, there we go. Screws in. There we go, looks good, looks good. All right, so the rest of these cables on top here and the rad. And we're ready to get the GPU out, chat. Right, look at that behemoth of a GPU today. You know it's a big car when you have to go to an angle? Whew, it's there, it fits chat. Ready? Three, two, one. It's in. Let's go ahead and plug this cable up and in. Right on the edge. Just enough space there. Look at this. <laughs> Sheesh. That is a big GPU. The, 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 there's, there's not a lot of space there. If you look at it, it goes all the way in there. It goes all the way. I had to position it to get it to fit. It fits, but I had to go in there and position it. I knew it fit. I put one in report. It just, it's big. I mean, you got the chonker. That is a chonker of a card. I think it's time to light it up. No, you support GP support stand? No, I I'm gonna send her one to recommend because it's really tight there. I'm gonna send her one that I, I'm gonna measure it because the one that I give you for the arrow is not good. But I'll recommend one for her. She can pick up for like, Eight bucks on Amazon. That'll help support it. We're just the cables. Yeah, we, we we pride ourselves on the cable management. That's a big thing. You know, we built this piece team just over an hour and change. All white out cables, everything. It came out pretty pretty beautiful. So. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, and watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.